Hey guys, today we're going to solve the code monk sorting problem 03, monk and nice strings. This problem basically states that monk has a set of n strings known as nice strings, and each of the nice strings has a niceness value associated with it. These strings are arranged in an array A, and the niceness value of a string at position I is defined as the number of strings with position less than I, which are lexicographically smaller than A of in brackets i. That is, the position of the string at the ith position. We have to find the niceness value of all the strings in this array. If you look at the constraints, n is smaller than or equal to 1000. Therefore, the n square approach will also work. But first, let's have a look at sample input and output. n is 4, and we have 4 strings. All the strings are single character each. So for A, the answer is 0 because there is no string less than or before A in position. For C, we have A. For D, we have A and C, which come before D and are also lexicographically smaller than D. Then comes B, and for B we have A, we have a which comes before B and is also lexicographically smaller than B. For each and every string in the array, in brackets I, we can loop for all the strings which are before that in the array. When we start writing the code, the header file, namespace std, we take iterators, i, j, and n, where n is the size. We declare a vector of size n, wherein the data type is string, a vector of strings. We run the outer for loop with iterator i for choosing our string as the correct string. We take the current string as input and we declare or initialize our count as zero. This count is basically the niceness value of the string at the ith position. So we run a loop with iterator j for j equals zero and j is smaller than i. That is, the loop will cover all the strings which come before the ith position. And going ahead, we lexicographically compare the value of two strings. By default, this greater than sign checks it lexicographically. So if v of i is greater than v of j, then we increment the count. That is, the string at jth position is lexicographically smaller than the string at ith position, and we increment the count or the niceness value. At the end of this loop, we print that value. That is, the niceness value for each and every string, or string in the ith position, is then printed with ENDL character. The code is simple enough and looks fine. Let's compile and test it. Cool. Works fine. Now let's go ahead and submit it. Yes, all accepted.